Most people replace the alternator when they have a problem with the charging system, when in fact it's just a faulty voltage regulator. You can have a shop check the alternator, but if the bearings and posts are good, there's a good chance it's just the regulator. You can save yourself a lot of money by simply changing out the regulator. Begin by removing the alternator red arrow from the vehicle. For additional assistance with that task, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. Take the alternator to your bench and flip it over. Remove the three Phillips head screws holding the plastic cover in place and indicated by red arrows. Use a flathead screwdriver and help release the plastic cover, red arrows. Next, remove the three Phillips head screws holding the regulator in place, red arrows. Note that the screws are different lengths and note their positions. Also, do not drop the screws into the alternator. Remove the voltage regulator from the alternator. Check the two brushes, red arrow. They should be worn evenly and easily slide back and forth in the housing. They are spring-loaded, and if they do not spring back when you push them in, they are defective. Before installing the new regulator, inspect the posts, red arrow. They can be slightly evenly worn, but should not be pitted or have large grooves in them. These posts are nearing the end of their service life. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.